we're going to discuss the read your option button implementation so first we're gonna open the Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0 so here's again the tip of the day so it's up to you if in next tip but in the meantime we're gonna close this so let's go to file the new then we're gonna choose MFC application wizard XC so the location again is drive C and for the project name radio one okay then dialog base to base our program on C dialog class finish then okay just so simply delete this on the keyboard so again this is our control objects so we're gonna add one edit buttons and three radio buttons So sometimes you only want to let the user select one options not multiple options in a given set of choices or alternatives so in this case the checkbox is not an appropriate to implement so therefore we'll use another control object which is the option or the radio buttons so like for example an applicant can choose only one to the given options if he or she is single, married, or widow. Another example if sex status, so male or female. So, in a case like this, we will implement ready button since the user is restricted, rigid, or limited to choose only one option. So, let's go to class wizard then for the ready one we're going to go and click just double click this so we have our method on ready one or our event handler so the same for the radio two and click as well as for radio three so for the connection between our ready buttons to edit box let's go to member variables and choose edit one so text m text m underscore text so make sure that the category is value and the variable type is c string then okay so let's go to the event handler for the re on radio one just double click this so for the on radio one for two and three so for the open and close curly braces in between any is the Renato Iwutang atong code so this message pwede rasa nini mo nga i-delete So don't forget the semicolon. And our function. So as you can see, the above function is the event handler method to be called or executed when ang atong user mo click sa radio button 1 in the dialog box so we're just going to copy this and paste sa own radio 2 as well as atong radio 3 then just don't forget to edit radio button 2 was click and radio button there was click
so we're done with this we're gonna close and save yes so we can now compile and run our program so we're going to see if we have errors here so we're, we have zero error zero warnings so i'm going to click ready one so as you can see so here in our example we add the message box that is why we have two output messages here so one for the edit box and one for the message box so this one so the two similar messages will be displayed one after the other so once i click ok so automatic sending was the edit box so again we have two output here one for the edit box and one message box so this is a radio option button implementation